What's up fish keepers? Welcome back to Aquatic Guru. In this episode, we're gonna take apart this Fluval Flex, which I've already done, and I'm gonna go ahead and rescape it like I promised, I don't know, two months ago, something like that. If you're new to the channel and you haven't seen before, Go ahead and subscribe down below if you like what you see. Give the video a thumbs up if you like the content you see. If you're old to the channel and you still haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Get on it! <laughs> I'm just kidding. But please, it does help motivate me to keep on going and giving you guys this content. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. Let's get into it and let's talk about what we're putting into this bad boy. All right, so as many of you know, Candyman, this guy right here, was the original owner of this fish tank. He is still here. He's actually waiting in the bucket for us to patiently do this work for him and get him a nice new tank set up. So um, I do have CO2 I'm gonna be setting up on this tank, that tank, and that Fluval Flex over there, which I'm gonna do an update video on those two tanks here shortly. Hopefully you'll see that after this video comes out. Otherwise, let's get into it and talk about what we're putting in here. So, we got Supernatural Sand. This is the Sunset Gold, as you've seen me use in my Corridors tank, as well as the other Fluval Flex. We got some ADA Amazonia 2. We got some Beta Botanicals, Botanicals. We got some Alder Cones, and we got some Guava Leaves. These ones are my favorite. Um, out of, between these and, um, what do you call them? Uh, Indian Almond Leaves. I like those just because they're a little bit smaller. And then um, from our guy over at Lid Props, we're testing this thing out. This is gonna be a riser for that inlet down there. So that way I can do a raised substrate in this corner without it sucking up all the dirt. So that's gonna be a cool little addition as well as the extra large lid props. If you guys wanna check those out, video up here in the corner, will help give you a rundown on some of those modifications. Um, otherwise, we got some spider wood I might be using. I'm not sure yet. But I'm definitely going to go with a Siriu stone for the stone. And then, um, yeah, we got a couple plants as well. I got some stuff in here. I may be using some Alternanthera Reineke as well as the mini variety. And then in here, I got some Boost Flandra I'm definitely going to be using in this scape. And then over in here, we have some, uh, I can't remember what it's called. It's not Kabamba, it's the other one. but. I'll put the name right down here on the bottom. I think I'm gonna utilize that in the back corner of the tank. There's some other stuff in here, some Pinnatophyta and some other things. So I'm thinking this hydrocotyl has gotta go over in there though. That little hydrocotyl Japan, I want that in there. So those two for sure. I also have some hair grass left over in this bucket here from cleaning that tank out. I'm gonna use some of that as well for the carpet. We're gonna kind of stick to that type of plant i want to stick with green in this tank i just feel like it's going to pop the best let's get into this we're going to start with obviously adding the substrate first and then uh we'll go from there so let's get building all right so first things first i'm going to add this this is just simple pops right into the bottom here and locks in place just like that and then the substrate we'll push that up against there you'll see what i'm saying um so what I want to do is I want this back corner to be raised where I'm going to have a sandbar kind of like the other tank over there. Um, I'm going to have a sandbar kind of right here uh, with some rock work and stuff like that. We'll do some uh, stem plants in the back corner here. The carpet's going to be somewhere around this tank. I'm not quite sure yet. Otherwise, let's go ahead and add the aqua soil. Let's add a little sand. 
what I'm doing here is I'm taking a little bit of polyfill and just filling the gaps behind the rocks just so the substrate can't sneak through the back. So you see what I did here? I got the spider wood kind of climbing out of the Siriu stone. I got a little bit of Siriu stone back there. Um, I'm gonna have those stem plants coming up through that. So I got the plants put in there. Sorry I didn't video that. Here's the final result all planted in. We got some hair grass back here with some crypts and some hydrocotyl Japan and some hydrophila, uh, pentaphyta, something like that. <laughs> Boost philandra. One of my favorites for sure. Um, we got the Limnophila back there. Got our Nerid in here. And we got a Candyman in here. Along with some floating Sylvanias and stuff. So, but yeah, this piece, this rock right here is going to go bye bye eventually. But there you guys go. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.